Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My dear brothers and sisters How are you? Alhamdulillah I am fine too Okay we are going to discuss today about Islamic calendar Our topic today is about Islamic calendar Wow So why do we discuss Islamic calendar? Yeah. Alright before that I would like to share with you One surah One verse in surah Yunus that verse is verse number 5 in Surah Yunus which mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Huwa alladhi ja'ala syamsa diya'a wal kamara nura Wa qaddarahu manazila li ta'lamu adada sinina wal hisab Ma khalaka Allahu dhalika illa bilhaq Yufassilu al-ayati li qawmi ya'lamun Sadaqa Allahul Azim What is the meaning? It is he who made the sun a shining light and the moon a derived light and determined for its faces. That you may know the number of years and account of time. Allah has not created this except in truth. He details the sign for people who know. So understand my dear sisters and brothers, Allah created the sun. Allah created the moon which has its a function and one of the function is to help us to count the day and the night and then accommodate our calendar or accommodate the time for us now uh, what is Islamic calendar Islamic calendar is regarded as remarkable sign of Islam so it has its own message and its own history right so as what we have today we use the uh, what we call as solar calendar um, and that's why we have to understand the status of Islamic calendar because Islamic calendar is supposedly what we use and what we should be proud of okay what is the importance of this Islamic calendar my dear sisters and Islam in Islam we should count our age according to the Islamic calendar and you also can uh, count the time for winning or for breastfeed a baby two years so this two years is counted by the Islamic calendar so next to it we can count our period or height yeah the menses our in time okay part of it also we know the ibadah time from Islamic calendar we know when is Ramadan we know when is the Hajj time that is of course in Zulhijjah. We know the 10 Muharram. We know when is Idul Fitri and Idul Adha. Okay, so these of course for the Ibadah purposes. So next, when the Islamic calendar began. So my dear sisters and brothers, Islamic calendar began in the time of Umar radiallahu and where Umar radiallahu and has choose. Um, about uh, six, 16 years before so meaning that 16 years before the event of Hijrah as the starting point to count the first year of Islamic calendar so meaning that if we are now f uh, live in 1436 Hijrah it shows that the year began from the year of Hijrah. Not the month, but the year of Hijrah. Because the month of Hijrah is happened somewhere in Rabi'ul Awal, where Prophet Muhammad Wasallam has been reported to reach Madinah in 12 Rabi'ul Awal. But that year, that year, starting from Muharram, is considered as the first year to be counted in Islamic calendar so now we are in 1436 Hijrah so it is about the Hijrah time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so of course we didn't count about the month of the Hijrah we count on the year that month occur or happen in that particular year so that year is the beginning of the Islamic calendar okay so next we want to know what ulama said about this Islamic calendar so we have a lot of you 
uh, from the ulama, such as we have um, from Ibn Taymiyyah, we have Muhammad Ilyas, who quoted from Nadwi and many more. So let us uh, listen to what Muhammad Ilyas says, okay, and quote from Nadwi. A unique occasion, that is, Islamic calendar, is a unique occasion to ponder that Islamic era did not start with the victories of Islamic wars, nor with the birth of or the death of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, nor with the revelation itself. So it start with the hijrah, or the sacrifice for the cause of truth and for the preservation of the revelation. So that is the meaning of hijrah, the sacrifice. The sacrifice for the purpose of Allah, the sacrifice for the truth and to preserve the revelation. Why? Because the hijrah from Makkah to Madinah shows that we are to continue what has been commanded in Al-Quran. We preserve the Quran. We preserve the revelation. Now, what is mentioned uh, by another ulama example Ibn Taymiyyah Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned in Majmu Al-Fatawa that Islamic calendar in Islamic calendar itself they are signs for the people with regard to entering and exiting Ihram see it is something to do with Ibadah for beginning and ending the fast that is fasting in the month of Ramadan for marriage, divorce, and iddah, for dealing, trade, and debts, for both the religions and worldly affairs. So, mashallah, we count that that those things has its own point and remarkable date, okay, remarkable count, re remarkable age, or what we call as nisab. Yeah? They have the howl, howl mean times the duration like if you want to pay zakat so pay zakat if it is enough how so how here means the duration is enough for one year so you count one year according to the islamic calendar 12 months now what is the difference between islamic calendar and the western calendar what you call as lunar calendar and the solar calendar so lunar calendar is referring to islamic calendar while solar calendar is referring to the masihia yeah so one which is very very obvious is that lunar calendar or islamic calendar the counting day or period is based on the phases of the moon while for solar calendar the counting is based on the total of time for earth to complete the rotation around the sun yeah okay so for this it has a slightly different of 11 days almost 10 to 11 days so meaning that lunar calendar has less than days as compared to solar calendar which has around 365 days so for Islamic calendar we have 354 days so minus around 11 days now let us take a look on uh, what is actually the month of Islam yeah knowing the months in Islam so if you could sing or if you could remember this song so it much be easier for you to remember the months of Islam Muharram Safar Rabiul Awal Rabiul Akhir Jamadil Awal Jamadil Akhir Rajab Sha'ban Ramadan Shawal Zulka Ida Zulhijjah So you can practice this among your friend and you will remember the uh, steps yeah, or the link of one a month after another by singing this song Muharram Safar Rabiul Awal Rabiul Akhir Jamadil Awal Jamadil Akhir Rajab Sha'ban Ramadan Shawal Zulka Ida Zulhijjah Okay, it covers 12 months. Now, I would like to share with you the meaning of the month, each month in Islam. Like Muharram means forbidden. Safar means null and void. Rabi'ul Awal means the first spring. Rabi'ul Sani or Rabi'ul Akhir means the second or last spring jamadil awal means the first parched land ok 
Maliki or often considered as summer and Jamadil Akhir means the last parched land. Rajab means respect or honor and Sha'ban means scattered. Ramadan means burning. Shawal means raised. Zulqa'idah means the one of truth. Okay, and Zulhijjah is the one of pilgrimage. Okay, now let us talk about the last point, the important dates of Islam. There are several important dates of Islam that we as Muslims should remember. The first one is of course the first Muharram which considered as the Islamic New Year. The second one is 10 Muharram. It is considered as Day of Ashura. 12 Rabi'ul Awal is the Maulidun Nabi. 27 of Rajab is considered as Isra and Mi'raj for majority of Muslims. First Ramadan is considered as the first day of fasting. 27th of Ramadan to many is the Nuzul Quran. And last day of Ramadan which also includes Laylatul Qadar happened in the same month Ramadan. Next is first Shawwal which denote our Idul Fitri. 8 to 13 Zulhijjah this is Hajj to Makkah. 9 Zulhijjah is the day of Arafah and 10 Zulhijjah is the day of Idul Adha. So thank you my dear sisters and brothers. That's all for now. Enjoy our Islamic calendar. Wabilahi Taufiq wal Hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.